good afternoon everybody. Um, today I'm going to do a um, tutorial on surf casting, a beginner's guide to the South African cast. It's just a, a simple cast, just to get people out there, um, you know, with a certain level of competency in sort of doing it. And um, yeah, so this is the gear we're using. We've got a um, Ambassador 6500 C3 CT mag, high speed reel. <coughs> That's loaded with um, some boat line, so it won't get maximum distance, that's 20 pound that is. I'd probably want to use something like 12 or 15, something like that. Could even go as low as 10 if there's no snags on the beach. And I've just tied some ribbons to the line so you can see what's going on. And we've got a, um, we've got a, I think it's a seven ounce lead there. And this is a Century Tip Tornado Supermatch. And it um, can cast up to 200 grams. So it's about 14 foot long, so it's a lovely rod. And um, so this this is this is the South African car. So let it two o'clock. Three quarters of the way down. Rod here, that length. At 11, 10 o'clock. Right, the angle of the rod, right, is the line of the leg. Where we end up in the water. To put the body cam on. So all you do, all you do <coughs> is um, where do I start? So we've got 60 pound shock leader on here and you want the lead, you want the lead to be about three quarters of the way down the rod tip, probably where that, 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 that this little bit of um, gold um, banding is here on, on the rod, okay? Um, so the lead wants to be about there, okay? And we want the, the rod tip, so if we say where I'm pointing at you, when I'm angling the rod, we'll call that 12 o'clock, all right? And behind me, it's six o'clock. So we've got 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? All right, so just bear that in mind. So there's the lead, so it's so, you First thing you do, <coughs> the magnets, all right, obviously the more magnets you've got and the more uh, resistance and tighter the magnets pull on the spool to slow it down, okay? So, for this example, I'm going to go back midway, just to play it safe, all right? The less magnets, the more the spool will just, you get more distance, 
However, you can get more complications with um, crack-offs and stuff like that, okay? So your leader, 60 pound, shot leader knot, you'll see that on my um, YouTube, got, got the knot, all right? And all you do is you want it tight to one end or the other, okay? There's no level wind on this, so I'll explain that later on. So we're just tying it in the front. You want to go around about, I don't know, five or six times, something like that. All right. So we've gone about halfway. Remember, we're not trying to get, but I can't, you know, I don't want to go too far, but I'll probably, I could probably get to that hedge over there, I would say. So we're on about halfway on the magnets. So back to setting up. You want some like um, something good on your feet, like trainers. Really good. All right. So all we do, put the lead at 12 o'clock. Okay. Just down there. I don't see it very well, but I'll, I'll go for it. I'll go for it a bit easier later. And then put the rod tip about 11. Remember we said the clock? Six, 12. 11, so put about 10, okay, about 10, right, and this foot, sort of angled towards the whole of it, right, so what this foot, dropping point to really, really, if you want the length of the board to go, okay, so we're looking to sort of do this, something like that. When we're winding in, no level wind, you have to guide this on evenly, otherwise you'll otherwise the line will bunch up and will dig in and snap off, you see. So make sure you've got the drag tight. And on this mud, we're just using the rod tip to pull it out because we're on the feet. So I'm just guiding it with my fingers evenly as I retrieve. It's quite a bit to think about. leader goes on and if you're just starting out don't don't try for too much power just go just go for technique try and hone the technique and that's pretty much what it's all about really so we'll give it another go right give it another go uh, just a bit of a slightly different angle so rod goes to far flat Bring the camera around a bit. Okay. So that's at 2 o'clock, 11 o'clock. on this one. Not a javelin, so I aim at a five. Slightly different angle for you there. Okay, let's go again. Focus on getting the technique right. Tiny. Get 
any gear. Sometimes you'll get lost in some snags and stuff like that. If you get caught in snags, just move. Move, move to, to a better a better part of the beach where there's, where there's none. Or have some knowledge, prior knowledge, that there's no snags on that bit of beach. Okay? So, so there you go. So we're getting the wind from. And we'll probably put the body cam on. Just so I can, you can see what happens doing the you know the release stage and all that sort of thing so here we are so we've got a, a seven ounce lead i'll straighten them wires later i've got some ribbon on there so you can see what's going on 60 pound shock leader it's not tapered shock leader because 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 and here's the reel notice one thing so you always check before you cast you make you check your rod tip to make sure that it's not caught in any way so with the rip with a spool running like that you know it's not magnets play safe we'll go half all right this is a ambassador 6500 c3 ct mag high speed all right so on about half right and just make sure that your shock leader knot which is that one there okay which is on my channel all right is make sure that the line is on one side of the spool because so it takes it you're not you don't you don't damage the spool as much as you know because after a while you could potentially damage this damage this spool here by just keep casting in the middle so they say when you're whacking it um put it on the inside there okay so remember this lead three quarters of the way down the road all right so you've got a nice long length there all right, and all we're going to do, all right, just make sure it's not tangled around the, around the top. So you just clip in, clip in the main brake there. You clip that in. Magnets are okay. Your thumb on the spool, and you just grip it. Grip it with your thumb, the bottom part of your thumb underneath here. Just grip it with that bit, and we're looking to release that off at some point. All right. So what we do is, what we do is. And remember, so the rod, rod, rod angle at 12, okay, so we put the lead at 2 o'clock, somewhere there, all right, and then we want to walk the rod tip around to about 11 or 10 o'clock, something like that, so I'm just walking around, all right, and that's it, and that's the angle, now the angle of this rod here, right, that's where we want the lead to go, okay, so all you do, is you push the rod away from you, put your foot sort of, I don't know, um, out in front and your left foot which is which you can't see angle that roughly the same as the angle of this rod okay like that and remember don't put too much power into it just this natural action so you can see you can see hopefully I'll try and angle it so you can see it a bit better right and all we're doing we're looking to release your thumb when this rod 
um, if you're looking at it from a sort of a horizontal sort of way on a dial of a clock, as when right up to the sky is like 12, you want to release your thumb uh, again around about I would say 10 o'clock, something like that. So, it, and that's about here somewhere when the rod is is at this angle, okay? And all we're doing, well, it's just like a, a, an overhead heave almost. All right, and away we go. And when when the um, the lead hits the water, just before it hits the water in daylight, just put your thumb on the spool. Okay. At night time, you have to estimate. If you're night fishing with a multiplier, you have to roughly estimate that. Doesn't matter if you um, you get it wrong, but you want to have your thumb almost as soon as you start seeing the line buffering up. You just want to clamp it down. Otherwise, you'll get a bird's nest. Okay. But you'll get you'll get a load of these problems when you first start doing it. It's inevitable. Um, so don't worry about it if you if you lose gear, you get bird's nests when you're starting out. That's even people who've been doing it a long time. I'm, I'm talking years and years and years. You still get caught up in all that sort of stuff, especially early beginning of the season. Um, so don't panic if if you know if things are going wrong. The key, the, if you wanted to be successful straight away, my my advice would be would be go and purchase a fixed ball reel, a beach cast an 8000 um, fixed ball setup. Um, you eliminate a lot of that magnets and but this is this is this is for a multiplier um, I find multipliers nice to use I use both when I'm out on the beach and you notice with my thumb with my thumb here you can see me directing the line evenly over the spool otherwise it'd go lopsided and it'd grip up on one of the spools and you'd be useless for your next cast so all we're doing we're just looking to sort of retrieve it back you see this is just a muddy field I mean if the farm the farmer's probably not gonna give a give a flying hoop whether I'm here or not but if he if someone was to say hello what you're doing you just move on that's as simple as that it's no big deal We're only here 20 minutes um, so you know if you want to just hone your technique you ain't necessarily got to drive all the way down the beach you can go to playing fields but just be mindful of overhead electrics and be mindful of people walking their dogs and things like this because a lead like this is uh, pretty serious all right so just be mindful of those things um so we'll go through it one more time go for it one more time all right so you can see i put it that side put the magnets on a bit more okay star drag tightened up all right we clamp it in the brake just i always check make sure i'm not tangled around the top and i do that by sort of doing this or letting the spool run, so that's gone a bit disjointed there. So we just release it all off. 60 pounds very coily. All right, and you just okay, and that's the brake release. So we're not turning around the top. All right, and we just check to make sure that we're still running. I think we are. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to put this lead at two, the rod tip at ten. Okay. Angle it round, you can see what I'm doing there. Alright, I'll leave it angled round so you can see it. Okay, and all I'm doing, I sort of count to about one, two, three, wait right till the swells die down a bit or whatever, and everything's okay. And um, Apollo, Apollo go. So here we go. That's it. Releasing it off about a sort of 10 o'clock in the air, and there it just. Clamp, clamp your thumb down on the spool before it hits and um, and that's it that's it that's the South African cast or off the ground cast it's probably the easiest cast to um, to get the maximum out of your equipment no matter how expensive your gear is uh, he's dug in the bottom there well I'm going to have to walk over to this one so yeah South African cast um definitely the way forward um, I'd say it's, it's easier than the pendulum cast because you 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 um, you make the timing a lot easier when you do a pendulum cast to get the timing correct is um, is can be quite tricky um, some guys there's a lot of guys are very very good at it um, but with this technique you 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 mitigate all that, you don't have to worry about a lot of the timing, you see, so, you can see, I'll show you this lead, I'll 
through this lake, how, how sort of stuck in it is. Look at this, look. Look at that. <laughs> look at it. Pull it, pull it out, look, pull it out, oh, there it is. <laughs> there you go. So that's the Century Tip Tornado Supermatch. It's a lovely rod. Um, it's a bit on the pricey side, but I've had some other cheaper rods which have been okay over the years. And just because you've got a good rod, don't mean you're going to get the fish. Most important thing is being there at the right time with the right bait, and even a 50 or 60 yard cast. So it's not all about having fancy equipment. It's nice to have it though. It makes it makes your experience. Um, it's nice to have that extra power, I'll be honest, you know, because you can drop it short or you can really get, give it a good welly out. If you're not getting anything out in close, you can welly it out, you see. Um, and you can use heavier leads, get them further out, and you can fish more extreme conditions with these sort of, this sort of equipment. But that's that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. I'll just to it. Well, guys, thanks for watching. That's pretty much it now. Um, so that's just a that's a sort of South African cast for beginners. Um, I hope you find that video useful. Um, you know, just follow those instructions. You won't go far wrong, but you just you just need to practice. Keep practicing and practicing, and um, you will get there. So um, that's me for now, guys. All right, if you like it, please subscribe. Um, that's a Century Tip Tornado Super Match South African cast, and uh, be more videos along the way. Hopefully with a big and a big old. Another big pike, that's what we're after. But um, the old pike have, um, they've been getting hammered this year because of the coronavirus, everyone's been fishing and, um, and they've been getting hammered.